Hi there, and welcome to Kineas. Well, first of all, we need to get an account. We might want to explore and see what it's about, or we might want to choose a PDF, as it says on this front page down here, and um, ask okay, information about it. We can also add a URL or add text. So we've got all these options, actually three options. What we're going to do is go into text. Okay, before we even log in, we are going to click on, you can try the other ones, of course, but I'm going to take you on a tour using text. So let's do that now. Going to go into text. Let's close that up here and write something down. So it says, type what you're looking for here. Kenyas has no word limits. Try pasting an entire document to find research relevant to your entire text. What I'm going to do is AI for research. Okay, and I'm going to look for that. Works best when it has more text to work with to give you the most relevant result. Got it. All right, so we need to accept a privacy notice. All right, so here we are now. Okay, now we've got AI for research. And we have a lot of articles, notice, on the right. Okay, notice the articles under the word article over here. We also have the word topic over here. So we've got articles and topics. The articles are here. Okay, notice there are also a number of citations. What we want to do is we want to go into filter right here. We want to filter things. Notice we can also have cross language, which is not what I want. We can also bookmark things, but we're going to go into filters. Click on filters and notice what the options are. I'm looking for the year published and it has to be uh, since 2023, not since the 1900s. All right. I want current ones and I'm looking for 24, but I don't see any 24 and I can only get, notice if I filter, I can only get uh, since from. I can get 2024. Well, I can try, apply, see if there's anything out there. Yep, there is for 2024. And notice how you get 2024. You just add from and to with the same year. Notice what's here. Lots of amazing uh, articles that you can access. This is AI in China, in enterprise intelligence, techniques for firearm, how green, and so on. But that is not my interest. My interest is actually education. So I'm interested in AI for research in education. Let's see if there's anything on education. So we've added more. Let's um, click on the search. Okay, so now we've got our year and it's stuck to our year. And again, we've got the same things. We don't have anything really. Oh, we have something related to education here that we might want to take a look at. And it's this one, research tenants and designs of mobile technology supported reading education, systematic review of journal of publication. I don't see any mention of AI. Right? I only see it here in China and here in this article on forensic investigation. And I'm looking for how to create, how to use AI in research. So maybe we should change our prompt. Let me do that now. Okay, so notice I've asked the question, research article on the use of AI to facilitate research studies. How effective are the tools for researchers? Now we're going to hit the, uh, let me just copy that. We're going to hit the, uh, okay, the research. Here we are. And you know what, just to make sure, let me add that in the search engine over there and see what we come up with. And if it sticks to 2024, notice it's thinking, there's more information there. So it would have to go through more data. While we're waiting for that, take a look at the left over here and see what's there. Notice on the left, we've got all the information under the help center where we 
can go, we can also go into Explore. So we're still waiting for articles here. Let's see if we get something I'm looking for. So will I get it? Well, I got it, but that's only after logging in and then changing the date. If you don't change the date, it's going to give you a lot of things, but not what you're looking for. So I changed the date from uh, 2024 to 2023, and that's when I started getting exactly what I wanted. So be careful with that and don't insist on things that may not work because it's not going to tell you that it's not available. It's just going to give you things that you don't really want. It's usually called hallucination. But uh, in this case, I don't want to call it that. Right. So here we are. Notice uh, these are the articles that um, it found for the search that I had used. Research articles on the use of AI to facilitate research study. How effective are the tools for researchers? Are AI tools, right? For researchers. And what I like here, there are some good ones. Um, notice, but you can redo this once you're logged in. Uh, before you log in, you might not get um, as effective responses as you'd like. So notice I'm going to go through that again. And I'm going to add the AI tools and then click on the search. And I'm going from 2023. So notice it's basically the same thing, um, how the use of AI based tools like ChatGPT to support management research. So we've got research here. Uh, maybe you're not interested in management research. Maybe you're interested in academic research. So there's one here, explainable AI and education, current trends, challenges, and opportunities. This might be more suitable in education and then guarding principles of the responsible developed artificial intelligence and tools for healthcare learning tools and so on so you might want to be a little more specific and this is where uh, you come in because ai tools work if you feed them right otherwise you may not get what you're looking for. So in this case, research articles, I'm going to use it to facilitate research to have, are the tools for researchers. And you might want to add in conducting research in higher education. Or you might want to use universities. All right, so let's go back here and hit the search. Let's see if we're getting more things here. Yes, we are. Medical education, learning tools. Okay, we had that before. In higher education, artificial intelligence, higher education, the state of the field. Now this might be reliable. Okay, so we might wanna take a look at this one. This particular one or any other one that resonates with you. I'm going to take this one so we can take a look at it. So let's click on it and get some more information. Notice Helen Crompton, I know her. Um, and cited by Access Full Text. Now this means that you'll need to go through your organization. So you might want to add only open access okay so that's one thing that you can do ask for only open access so let's go back up to our explore and ask for only open access block based programming for ai education current trends Open source, okay, artificial intelligence and higher state of the field. We've had that by Helen. Right, so let's go into the filters and see what we can filter out here. Citation, open access only. You don't need to add it in the search. It's right here, and that's the only way it's going to work. Okay, so click there, and then, of course, apply. So let's do that now. We'll go into open access and then apply. Okay, and we're still looking at the same thing. Now let's see if it really works. Okay, there's Helen. 
at all. Let's see if we get artificial chat bot study, artificial the next frontier, and scientific publications. Let's see if that's open access. Access full, similar articles. Okay, that's by Ron. So we can find some more, which is nice. But what about where we're looking for open access? Do we get open access? Yes, no, maybe. All right. So notice here, um, you need to add your organization. We found it, but there's no open access. Okay, so it's not going there. It's not going with the open access, which is the only way we can go because that's okay. So let's go back up and make sure that we have it. Okay, we're going to go back into the filters and open only open access. So let's clear the other ones and start all over because maybe there's an overload there. All right, so open access and we want since 2023. Let's make sure we've got the open access apply. Right, so we can remove that since that's not necessary. And then maybe we should add all of this, not that we need to, maybe not, since it should be working. Okay, so here we go, open access. We're getting the same things. There's no open access. Notice there's a key here. It means you need to check if your institution provides it. But notice what else is here. Okay, there's also a PDF here. So let's see if we go straight up. There we are. Notice now we can view it. And here it is. Okay, so the first thing I do generally is scroll down until I get to, let me do that now, until I get to, um, let's see, there are 22 pages. And I'm interested in going into the final one. So let me do that now. I'm interested in the list of references. How current are they? Okay, so I see we've got 2020. This, notice it was received on January 2023, published in April. Okay, and um, I just go through the, okay, so notice uh, 2022. That's not current enough for me. I want something more current than that. So uh, April 2023 is not good enough. But notice also that if it says access, see if your institution, but you see a PDF, as I saw here, then that means you can go into the PDF and check it out and see if it's what you're looking for. Okay, so uh, let's uh, continue here with other articles for the same thing, similar articles. Artificial and education. Okay, so we can, that's 2021. A lot of things have happened since, um, 2023, in fact. And, and, and actually, I am interested in open access. Notice everything is available here, so I can see both. But I am interested in something more current because, uh, as I said, things were happening in 2024. Okay, so um, let's go back to changing that and see if we can get other filters here, such as um, since 2024, again, apply. So now we have 2024. You can see that if you missed it. And I think that's what's important. But you still have to spend time looking for things. Okay, you can't get around that. So it saves you time, but you still need to be able to do this. So let's uh, theoretical framework, economic pollution. Okay, we're getting a lot of things here, scientific research in different areas, um, but not on AI. Okay, I'm going through it and there's nothing on AI because there isn't anything on AI. So maybe we've got this all wrong and maybe we should change it. How effect and just leave it there. How effect our AI tools for researchers, for research studies. 
studies in higher education. Okay, so I would go with that. And if there's nothing on that, then there's nothing. And I might try some of the other. Kinius isn't the only one, the only AI research generator. There are others. Okay, so um, I don't see anything here on AI. Maybe this one, but it's uh, from 20, 2005 to 2020. That's not going to help us very much. So it doesn't seem to have understood my question. AI tools for research studies. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Okay, we're going to try that again. Again, the problem is with the dates. Okay, we're getting the same information because of the dates. So we'll have to change it back and then choose whatever works for us. And we do, we can even download it. And here's the abstract, and this looks quite promising. Prompting higher education towards AI augmented teaching and learning practice. Yeah, this might just work. Yeah, this is a good article. And um, we might want to get the PDF, download the PDF, so we can take a look at it. And here it is. This is the article. And then, of course, I'm going to, as you know, scroll down and notice the references. Okay, 23, 23. This is lovely. All right, so this is something, 23. They're all most of, well, they're all, yeah, there's one 2020. But um, 2022, yep, all the rest are 2023. And that's excellent. So I found my article, one article. And I may continue working, as I said, with other AI for research.